Okay, so the part that I left off was that people trying to kill the baby, basically. People trying to kill the baby. That's why I don't really want to associate myself with people um, that I have been around that know about the baby, you know, um, and then the strangers that's taking me in, they not acting right, they acting. Motherfuckers is acting funny around me and it seems like people pulling bullshit around me, um, like they just doing skits around me, you know, and I know when a motherfucker's trying to constantly have somebody around me, where you constantly want to have somebody around me and make it seem like, oh, well, she in your house. But no, nah, it ain't. It's, it's not that type of situation. Anybody out there who know about these witches and these demons and these covens, people that serve these devils, you will know that there will be nowhere that a person like me can really turn to. And for me, I can't even go back in this house right now. This man is in this house right now, and I want to go back in there and do some things for myself, but he's got a very negative spirit. You know what I'm saying? He's got a very negative spirit. I got two people texting my phone right now who um, are trying to argue with me. Two black males who I met in this area that this man brought me into this area, and these two males was just begging me and begging me to get my number, black males, and I was like, no, originally I told both of them no, and I kept telling them no. And it was like, oh, well, it'd be cool for you to have a friend or something like that. And so I gave them my number. I have never been intimate with either of these males. Um, they have both told me that they like me or whatever, but that's the way that they've been getting males to set me up. So um, these two males are texting my phone from two different numbers. Um, and they're texting my phone and they're trying to start altercation and threaten me and I haven't done anything. And I know that it's because of the baby. Um, let me just show y'all my stomach. I know it's because of the baby. I know that the reason why people are trying to pick fights with me and all of that stuff is because on my social media page, they need to have people around me that's going to stop me, that's going to be very negative around me, that's going to um, just try to give me things that are bad for me and then try to keep me away from doing things that's good for me. And these, while I'm making this video, these people are still texting my phone like they want to have me all riled up wherever I go yelling and crying or screaming about something what somebody has done to me these are strangers that I don't even know um, that are meeting me out here homeless so it's a setup it's a setup to not allow Andre Antoinette Jones and that baby into any of these shelters so that these men could drive around and set me up and the ultimate goal is to kill us so I'm not I'm not gonna stop making my videos there were some videos that I was hesitant to post because YouTube was violating me um, and this is very serious there's a child in my womb and this child has had people trying to crush this child in my belly at the hospitals so this is very serious when you have people trying to stage arguments um, I had to pull out a knife on Bianca Hudson in Texas in the middle of the street I ran down the street and she was chasing me with a stick trying to kill the baby with a stick and I had to pull a knife out of my purse after I called the police several times and they were taking an hour to get to the scene and they never did show up because they were trying to get Bianca to get charges dropped for killing the baby. She had theft charges, Marcus, um, LaMarcus Sanders had Sherm charges and they, they was all in the house trying to fight me and stage shit to kill the baby in my womb and then think that some white people were, and some black folk, whoever worked for the state because they devils and they sold out now with their little jobs to try to drag me up out of there screaming and crying after all of these black people done killed this baby in my womb. Um, I looked down at my um, belly this morning. The baby is still kicking. Um, I did not do um, any of the heart monitors since I've been here because I've been really busy. Um, and I need to uh, do the baby heart rate and check the baby heart rate, but the baby has still been kicking. And I don't even like to look down at my stomach because I know that there is nothing that I could do to get this child out of me. I tried my best to um, take care of my body to try to make sure the baby survived. And then they stressing me and coming around me with negativity, you know, um, trying to keep me from being my best self. Um, and one of the ways that they do that is to try to deprive me of things that, uh, that I need to get throughout the day. And one of those things is like food, 
things like food. You know, a person will be very weak, especially when you're with child. A person will be very weak. Um, and, and I've been carrying this baby for a very long time and I'm not in any pain, but there are certain times that, you know, I'll be trying to do too much and, you know, um, the baby will start like, you know, uh, hurting me a little bit. Like mama sit down, lay down, whatever. Um, and I don't really know the state of this child's being in my womb. I don't know, um, if there are any deformities. I don't know, um, but the baby's heart rate, uh, have been good the whole entire time. Um, and I'm ready for this to end. So this is why I was saying that I would be willing to go ahead and let them kill me instead of just killing the baby in my womb and then lying about it and saying that I was never pregnant after all of these people did this to me. I would rather just go ahead and fight, uh, just fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be on this earth. Uh, with people uh, trying to kill my baby in my womb. Like, that is so evil for a woman to get pregnant. You cannot see the child from the outside in the belly, but you can see the the baby bump, and they still lying about the baby being in the womb because they feel like they have enough power in the hospitals and all over the country to lie about it because a white male that was shot for attacking me, and I'm pregnant, and he was attacking my little baby boy at the same time, and the police were called, and he fled to Cynthia Overa's house, his white Caucasian adopted the mother and my baby daddy is white but that's not his real maternal mother god said that uh cynthia overa did some slick shit to get austin when he was a baby and my son um she has my son melbourne halo met her and she did a lot of slick shit to get him and the courts helped her do it the kkk ku klux klan courts uh people helped cynthia overa steal my child from me so that's why i started the uh series on child abduction um my my series a reality series on child abduction and as y'all can see what people are doing to me they abducted my child they stole my child and that's exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing because the only thing that they could try to do is discredit me as a mother which is why the shelters put me out of the shelters which is why they tried to have me going from place to place and then say I don't have a job while I'm putting out the information about what people have done to me I have to put out the information about what they did to me and the baby in the jail. But of course, America done ripped babies from their mother's womb and then put them on a plantation field. So they feel like they can kill a baby in a black woman's womb and then make her go to work with the dead fetus in her body while everybody is sitting there watching my stomach big, knowing it's a dead baby in there. And then they want to try to call you crazy and expect you not to go the fuck off and nut up to the point where they kill you because they talking about, oh, you crazy. All you had to do was pull up the fucking ultrasound and do something to help get this baby out. That's what you should have did. Ain't no set her up, give her weed, give her cigarettes, try to offer her crack and milk and all this cocaine and do all this shit to this lady and try to kill the baby that way or then try to fight her and run up and punch her in the stomach or y'all try to have males attacking me and trying to start false arguments with me. You know what I'm saying? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. And it's like people have been begging me not to pick up another fucking gun. What the fuck am I going to pick up a gun for? The only reason why I picked up a gun was because somebody was trying to hurt me. So for me to have to go and purchase another motherfucking gun after they gave me 100 years just because y'all want to kill a baby? Yes, the baby been in my body since 2018 or sooner than that. Longer than that. Because they've been lying on my medical record since I've been with this white man. And he was attacking me all throughout the pregnancy when I was pregnant with my son. So for motherfuckers to be talking about, oh, Andrea, shut the fuck up, I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus, somebody better step up real fucking soon and come to the United States, bro. Because if I got to get fucking killed because they won't get his baby no medical care, then all the African Americans in America was responsible for the shit. They'll be responsible for my death. So anybody out there who may be in another country who's viewing this video, y'all probably have seen African-American women being killed on national television. If you look online, you will see that they just murdering African-American women. They don't care. And I know they've been doing it all over the world and they using each other to sell each other out. So they think that they gonna murder me out here with this baby in my womb and think I'm going to keep getting kicked out of places where they know about it and then have me going somewhere where people pretending like they don't know about it and then doing fuck shit. So right now, because I'm trying to pull myself up and get that witchcraft spell off of me where they think I'm going to sit up in this basement. <laughs> 